if, if you are using distinct arrays one for name one for telephone number one for salary and you want to swap the properties of of two of two uh, p uh, persons or two people uh, you will have to swap the name using the uh, three steps something similar to this and then you will have to swap the telephone number using also an, uh, another three steps and then you will have to swap the salary also using three steps but with uh, structure all you have to do is just using only these three steps and all the attributes all the properties of that employee or, uh, or sorry or that person are swapped in directly okay Th there is uh, it, it doesn't matter if you have 100 property inside your structure it will uh, it, it will move them all together in one step okay here we are moving the three elements together here we are moving the three elements to uh, sorry the, th the three uh, attributes or properties together we are moving three attributes or properties together and here we are moving uh, or copying uh, all the three uh, attributes or properties okay now let's test this and now I am gonna enter the information a little bit quickly so three okay first one is Z one twelve second one is G and uh, let's say uh, okay and the salary and you let's say okay okay now uh, it, it should be G uh, U Z okay so now I am hitting sort and you can see G U Z and all the values are stored uh, correctly okay now uh, what if you want to add extra a property okay like uh, the license number for th that person okay uh, what are we gonna do is add column here and let's call it license number okay add and close okay I forgot to make it read only anyway but uh, you, c you can do that later on what we have to do uh, what we have to do is define another one dimension license license number a string okay license number now when we read the information we will add this one okay onfo of i dot license number equal on put box enter license number okay maybe my spelling for license is wrong but uh, forgive my bad English okay now when displaying the information here you just add that of i dot license number okay now so far what we have done here reading the information we added extra entry of course and we added extra entry here now uh, this is where it gets interesting for the sort operation you don't have to do anything at all because these assignment statement will copy all the attributes so if you make any update inside this one the sort operation will be updated automatically there is no need to track your code and modify it okay and so on uh, the actually the only places you will have to modify your code is if you are making a computation based on that on that field or reading that field or displaying that field other than that uh, if you are making copying or operations or stuff like that you don't have to modify anything okay so now let's try this out again and see if it works okay read the information and uh, Smith okay I made a mistake I had to enter the number of people and I I entered the name okay sorry read information three people Smith and uh, one two three okay 30 the license number 999 00 and 11 whatever um, uh, 
now John and telephone number this telephone number salary okay license number whatever okay and let's say Mary and uh, her telephone number and salary wow that's good the salary and enter license number is hmm have some num text in it anyway so you have these now we press sort and you can see they are all sorted okay as simple as that so as you can see uh, sorry so uh, this is how you work with structure um, now one last thing here we defined one structure you can define as many structures as you want okay so for example for example you can create another structure to store uh, uh, the uh, let's say uh, car information for that person okay and then use it in another structure or use it alone for example here, here just for uh, I, I won't run the code but just to show you how to do it car info let's say structure car info here we are gonna store the information of a car so here uh, let's say model dimension model a string dimension name a string uh, dimension company uh, company a string dimension plate number a string and uh, and so on dimension color a string okay now these information now uh, we will assume each person is having a car so you can write this and it will be perfectly valid uh, car as car on full now what this means is that each person is having a car and his car is having a model, a name, a company, a plate number, and a color. So later on, when you are using your code, let's say here, you want to display the car information. Let's say, let's say you want to display uh, the c the color of the car for the for uh, the first person in your array. So on four of zero, this will get you the information of the first person. You press dot and you will just select car now you press a dot you will get the details of the car uh, for example you can get the color you can get the model the name okay and and, and so on okay so so it, it's easy to use very powerful and very easy and help you understand and uh, sorry help you uh, manage the data inside your application okay so this is basically how structure works uh, I will leave this in the source uh, file okay if you want you can add uh, the functionality to read the car information and uh, and this and uh, display the car information if you would like to uh, consider it more like a homework for you anyway uh, check out the website uh, you can download the source file there you can find this tutorial in PDF as well um, if you have any questions uh, or comments please post them or send them to notes at mka-soft.com uh, thank you for listening and uh, have a nice day bye bye